played football, I've thought about football, I've supported football all my life. Only ever wanted footballs for Christmas and birthdays and stuff like that. I started playing football loads outside my first house, just out there every day from the morning to like the evening. I played for a team called Rainford Rangers growing up and that's something that really sticks in my head. It was where really I first remember playing football. It was the first time I remember my dad taking me to a team, training, playing, actually playing on this hard piece of grass, not like pictures we see now. That really is the first memory I have of playing football and my dad taking me to football. I can't believe you pulled this one out and you want me to show the camera this one. Do you know where this was? My nan lives up in Scotland and I've got quite a lot of family up in Montrose. So this is in my nan's house, this. It was always a ball, some sort of ball, an our leather ball, an our plastic ball. And we used to go up every summer on holiday and just play football, literally. We'd wake up in the morning at seven, eight o'clock, we'd be out in the front because she lived in the country. And she had a garden that wrapped around the house. So you could go all around the garden, she had big goals and all these sorts of things. That was just me from a young age. Just a person who, who wanted to be outside all day kicking a ball around. Every time I step out on a football pitch, I just I feel like happy to be there. I feel lucky to be there. I remember one of my first coaches, and enough probably doesn't get spoken about in terms of his, his influence. He had an academy manager called Frank McPartland who really, really believed in me. Really believed in me. He was incredible with me and in how he made me develop, not just as a player, but I think as a person as well. To actually have people within football who believe in you, I think it's a massive thing, and that's something I'll, I'll take with me for the rest of my life. To play for England is the top, the top that like the. The highest thing you can ever do. To receive the phone call from the gaffer when I first did, it's, it's a conversation I'll, I'll remember for the rest of my life. It was incredible, an absolutely incredible moment. Growing up, you have these dreams of playing for your local team, playing for your country. What you can bring up in your imagination and things that you want to believe and you want to come true. Ultimately, that pull towards a positive dream is probably the most powerful thing that we can have. Your dreams are your goals. You hit one that's on the way to the big dream and you kind of just keep rolling with it. They're the ones that take us to different worlds and different places. I think if we don't have that, we can't really think of what might be.